What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing a game on PDCGO today, and today I've got a Turbo EV Snorlax Tag Team GX deck inspired by a deck that I played against on PTCGO yesterday and got my butt kicked. It was not close. They got turn one, Kiawe, four fire energy onto an active EV Snorlax Tag Team GX and then attached a double colorless to the bench and was like, all right, ball's in your court, fella, and he smoked me. So trying to build the deck myself, see if I can't replicate some of that success. I don't know if the deck is actually competitive or good at all, but it could be, and I think at the very least it will be fun to play. So I'm going to try and get my Speedy Snorlax deck to work and calling it Turbo Lax. Perfect nickname, if not anything else, I'm at least getting... I don't know, a meme out of it. We're playing against some sort of Pika Rom deck, which is sweet, but I have got the turn one in my hand right now, which is awesome. Let's see, we've got Guzma, a skateboard. Okay, I think I just go get an EV Snorlax, though. I don't know, a turn two, turn two smacking with the, uh, <laughs> with the ho ho would be pretty good too. Even though ho ho does max out at 210 with a choice ban, that's a little bit unfortunate. We can actually hit those numbers with Eevee Snorlax and Megaton Friends with the Choice Band on this guy. So we may try to go for that. We've got an Adventure Bag and a couple of Choice Bands in the deck. So we may just decide that that is the way to go. Kind of into it. Then we can Ultra Ball away probably, I guess I just go here, right? <laughs> and then I can put the Escape Board onto him. And then I can Ultra Ball away, Ultra Ball and Guzma for a Lele and just go turn one Kiawe, no looking back. Here we go, Turbo Lax, let's go. We've got Tapu Lele and we go and get the Kiawe and that's just what we do. That's what this deck is, Turbo Lax, let's get him. I'm really excited, this deck is just so fun. Eevee Snorlax, 270 hit points. The fact that he could just start attacking on turn two is absolute insanity because he just one hit KOs any evolution Pokemon there is with Megaton friends here. And then even if you don't get the turn one Kiawe, Cheer Up is a great option to get going quickly. And if you have double colorless in your hand, it almost feels like a turn one Kiawe. You're ending your turn in order to get more energy in play. They're great options either way, Kiawe or Cheer Up. Snorlax attacks turn two very regularly. So the point of this deck, I guess, isn't necessarily to be able to trade with non-GX decks. We do pretty poorly against non-GX decks. Let's, let's just be honest, right? Against like Lost March, we're probably losing. Against like a Grand Bull deck, we're probably losing. You know, Buzzgarb Shrine, we're definitely losing. But against a field full of GXs, I'm feeling like I can beat that, okay? I think we may have a chance against whatever my opponent is doing up there, that is for sure. So we've got the choice band, check this out. Oh my gosh, don't concede, all right? All right, opponent, don't, don't concede, okay? I think that we could do some beautiful things here. Just please, please don't concede, all right? So we've got the choice band and the escape board. I even have the fifth energy on my EV Snorlax so that we can megaton friends for just an absolutely insane turn. I'm getting Jirachi as well. We can escape board this thing, dude. Check this out. Retreat into the EV Snorlax. And we have got turn two megaton friends drawing up to 10 cards. I'm gonna put this guy down too. No, no need to. Turn two megaton friends, let's go. 240 damage, goodbye, three prizes on turn two. Nuts, right? Look at that. I mean, busted deck. That is just absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know if my opponent could stop me now, to be honest. We've done so much. There's no way they're hitting 270 damage. Yes, I am a little bit concerned that I don't have a wishful baton on my active. So maybe <laughs> we need to play... Uh, maybe we need to play a Magarna or something that allows us to pick up our tools and switch them around because I definitely need some sort of uh, some sort of way to keep this energy in play now that it's all here. I could very well go in and just start attaching double colorlesses to my benched EV Snorlax. That's probably the best way to go, and that's like. I mean, I'm only really under any pressure if my opponent gets the, the turn two full blitz here, which they might just whiff. And if they whiff, we're cool, right? Just dump truck press for 150, attach double colorless to this guy, 
and we're just in cruise control for the rest of the game. With a 10-card hand, my opponent definitely has to disrupt this or we're just uh, we're taking them to Punish Island. One-way trip, no return flight, and that's, that's it, right? But we do have to worry about the full blitz because if my opponent does hit me for like 180 here, they are well on their way to taking three prizes themselves. But they have to draw into the Thunder Mountain Prism Star or get Coco Energy Switch. So that could be what they're going for here. No, sure enough, they're going for the Let Loose. So that's fine. They got one Electro Power and two Electro Powers, and they're going for the Let Loose. I think they're just all in on this play. I fully expect them to scoop if they don't get the attack here. If you're wasting double Electro Power and missing the attack, that would be insane. They need to hit a two-card combo here. They need Coco Prism Star. They actually like a three-card combo. They need to get Ultra Ball, Lightning Energy, and Energy Switch off of a four-card hand. I don't think that there's any way that they are going to have it here. So sure enough, they'll retreat, and that's fine. I am cool with this because I can just switch into my Jirachi. Now, my opponent does have that annoying Absol in play, but I think if I can hit, like, uh, any sort of draw supporter here, it might be better than knocking out the Marshadow. Or I could just continue forward, just keep attaching to my EV Snorlax here on the bench. That could be a pretty good strategy as well and just take this knockout. My opponent's not going to return my knockout this next turn. We could do that. That or we switch into Jirachi, attach the fire to Jirachi. That kind of feels bad, though. So I think I just... I just stay the course here. I could nest ball to thin. It's probably fine. I'll grab myself the Jirachi and just get that dude onto the bench. And we're cool with this. Just dump truck press, take a knockout, boom, get him. And we're down to two prizes remaining, which is fantastic. Oranguru, that would be a good Pokemon to have on my bench right now. I think I'm only playing one, so it was prized there when I nest balled. Now I'm wishing that I had like kept some bench space for sure but it's all good i think you know with my opponent just blowing those electro powers like that i fully expect them to struggle to take this knockout so what's interesting maybe i can attack with tapu lele too they scooped they didn't have it like that we were going to be able to overrun them turn two turn two uh what megaton friends for 240 damage Turbo Lax, getting out here. We're going to run one more and see if we can do that one more time. Run it back. Turbo Lax, crazy deck, dude. Now, I am a little bit concerned about hitting basic Pokemon. I mean, we got that, like, big one-off Megaton Friends there for 240. But after that, we only do 120 to basic Pokemon, which is not great. That's why I've got the Turtonator in the deck. That's why I've got the Ho-Oh in the deck, just so that we have other options to deal more, but it doesn't feel quite like, let's see, what do we got here? We got a Ho-Oh, and we got an Eevee, and I'm going first, so I'm kind of feeling like we just get out there with the, uh, we just get out there with the Eevee Snorlax, probably, because Eevee Snorlax can just attack quicker than anybody else, so we'll just, uh, we'll just do that. Haven't started a Jirachi yet, which is unfortunate. I think starting Jirachi gives us the best options to go and get some very quick attacks. Let's just uh, let's just attach fire here and probably just Cynthia. I'll bench the Ho-Oh as well. And we'll adventure bag. That's fine. I can attach a couple of wishful batons to these dudes just to get them, I don't know, protected. And then we Cynthia. That's a fine turn one. Definitely would have liked to have seen a Jirachi there, but it's all good. We've got a turn two Kiawe. Not as good as a turn one Kiawe, but it will suffice, I think, because my opponent probably not attacking here turn two. We can just go attach double colorless to my active EV Snorlax, and then Kiawe to the benched ho -Oh. And then we're cruising, right? We're doing things. My opponent is playing a Guardi deck. This should be very interesting for us because we one-hit KO them. They should also be one-hit KOing us very easily. So doing something like uh, using the uh, 
using the Kiawe onto my active would be very sketchy because if they get a turn two guardy, they could easily wipe me out. But I'm thinking that we might be able to do this here. We're just going to Kiawe to the bench. And then if my opponent doesn't have knockout, I mean, it's possible we'll be fine. I definitely am not attaching that double colorless. That is for sure. And I'm wishing that this was an EV Snorlax now instead of a Ho-Oh GX. The Ho-Oh is not exactly doing what we need it to do here. But at least it does have a Wishful Baton on it, so maybe it can hit and then pass some energy to another EV Snorlax later in the game. I'll attach fire here, and then we're just going Kiawe to our benched dude. That's it. And then I've got Guzma. I've got Switch. I mean, we can... We can have a very aggressive turn three here with all this energy in play. My opponent's got a DC already, so they're going to do three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. 12, I mean, with another DCE and a fairy energy, I think they're only doing 210 damage. So not enough to knock me out in one hit. And they've got to figure out a way to get this Ninetales out the active as well because they're probably going to use the Alola Ninetales in order to set up somebody else. If they don't attack with the Guardi this turn and they decide that they are just going to try and be a little conservative, maybe Beacon again, then I can punish that play instantly with Guzma Switch smack that Gardevoir with the double colorless on it with dump truck press and just dumpster the dude completely. So this is uh, this is looking pretty good. I think the Eevee Snorlax deck, all in all, I will say, is a success at doing what it sets out to do, which is probably knock out evolution Pokemon, deal quickly and efficiently 120 to 240 damage, right? It's, uh, it's pretty good at doing that. It's pretty bad at doing the things it's not built to do, which is trade with non-GX Pokemon. I played against like some Shrine decks earlier before this video, and that was like a little bit nightmarish. <laughs> but at the very least, it is very fun and feels kind of uh, similar to the way that the old Ho-Oh decks built, uh, were built. They really play kind of exactly like Ho-Oh used to play, except Ho-Oh is very bad as a... Uh, as like your primary attacker in this deck right now because of that nasty lightning weakness. So I wouldn't really suggest playing any more than one Ho-Oh in the deck. The one is cool. Oh, we're taking my opponent to Punish Village, okay? Just one way they are going to have a permanent home in Punish Village this turn. There is a, yeah, not a vacation home. This is their permanent residence. They're going to be living there for a long time. I'm taking out, not that guy. We're taking out this fella right here. He's going down. The double colorless guardy is no longer. We've got a Jirachi in play as well, which is even more insane because I could just Guzma up this dude. Give him to me. And I've got the switch in my hand already. We could Stellar Wish. Hopefully I hit a Nest Ball or something. We've got Kiawe and Lily. Lily will work. I can draw cards off of that. It's very good. We want to draw more cards next turn. Got the switch in my hand already and the double colorless. And this dude, good Bye! Oh my gosh, Snorlax. I didn't think you could do it, my man. Dump truck press, goodbye, Guardy. Absolutely insane. We've got a ho -oh on the bench to back ourselves up as well. And there's my Nest Ball and my Ultra Ball so that I can pass some of this energy on if things get hairy. Now, with all this energy on the Eevee Snorlax, I'm thinking that... Yeah, it's probable that we could just uh, we could just get absolutely demolished here for the remainder of the game. I'm not sure if my opponent's got enough fairy energies to make this all work. Ah, oh, there's a Viridian Forest. Okay, so not good, right? Not good because now they uh, well, I guess they don't have it yet, right? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. They need two fairy energy. If they miss it. They got, okay, they got it. They got the Secret Spring here, and they've got the Secret Spring off of the Viridian Forest. So they're going to have double Secret Spring. Gosh, if this was just an Eevee Snorlax, not a ho -Oh, oh we would have been totally fine. So, and now I don't have the other, if I just had, if I had ripped a Nest Ball off of that Jirachi, we would be totally cool as well. Uh, just being able to get another Eevee Snorlax to pass this energy to, that is brutal. But it's cool. I have faith here. I think that there's a, 
There's stuff we can do. It's just that one turn. I mean, honestly, we could have traded with this deck just fine. Just that one turn. We needed to be able to get another Eevee Snorlax into play. We need this to be another Eevee Snorlax. Tough stuff all around. Yes, I would like to move these two fire energies, and I guess I just move them to my Jirachi, right? I mean, there's no real good place to put them. Putting them on ho -Oh seems, like, ridiculous. So, yeah, we'll just uh, put them over there, I guess. And then we have to put the... Uh, I guess we just have to put the Ho-Oh in the active, even though that's just like sending them up to get demolished. Like we already know what that Ho-Oh is like, what's gonna happen with them, okay? So that's not exactly good. Though, I guess if the Ho-Oh goes down, just a lot to think about here. Probably want the Jirachi up in the active, then they take one more prize on that, you know? By that time, they're gonna be able to build up that bench guardy. It's feel bad all around, but I, I'm kind of into it. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. We're gonna do this play here. We've got Guzma. I guess taking a Guzma knockout on something with the Ho -Oh is not like the worst. We can nest ball. We definitely want to get ourselves another Eevee Snorlax. That's for sure because he's the only one that's gonna be able to do what we need him to do. Then I guess. We can Guzma take a knockout with our Ho-Oh. And then, you know, we know he's getting knocked out. But that's fine. We could keep this, uh, yeah, I guess we just kind of Guzma up the Ralts. Oh, he's got a cool attack, Phoenix Burn, right? Our Sacred Fire. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so we can snipe the Ditto, bring up the Vulpix, snipe the Ditto. I'm into it. Okay, we'll do that. We'll attach here. Okay, I'm into it. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's Stellar Wish. So, we'll grab ourselves a Choice Band. Gosh, the Choice Band, cool, but I'm not sure that it does what we need it to do right now. Cool, I'm into the Choice Band. Yep, doesn't help any math anywhere. The Nest Ball doesn't really, I mean, I guess we'll just get an Oranguru, probably. That's cool. We'll get the Oranguru, I guess. I'm into it. And we're going to Guzma attach to our Snorlax. Yup. That's all the things we want to do. We're going to Guzma up, I guess. We could Guzma up this Guardy. I mean, that could be better, I suppose. Bringing up the Vulpix feels probably more substantial. I mean, my opponent can just retreat it either way. Bringing up this Guardy feels okay. They take that knockout. I mean, it's it's just all bad either way, but yeah, we'll try it. All right, we're going to goose him up this guy. Cool. And then we attach our fire here. We go and get... Uh, I don't think that I should need... I mean, we'll put the Wishful Baton here, and then we'll Nest Ball for the Oranguru just to get that dude into play. And at that point, we could just Instruct for one. It's fine. And next turn, we're cooling. All right, Sacred Fire. And I guess we just, you know, hope that my opponent does absolutely nothing. That's the only real play we've got here. If the Ho-Oh goes down, I am going to be able to knock out a Guardy, which is great. But it's, uh, <laughs> you know, my opponent's got enough energy in play at this point. It doesn't really matter. Now, they are serving me up this Nine Tails here. They are evolving, but that makes me think that they just have a Guzma in play or something like, or they have a Guzma in their hand. Or they're going to be able to make something fancy happen here. Maybe they've got a switch. They're not just going to evolve into the Nine Tails without doing something substantial to kind of forward their, uh, you know, their way to victory here. It does look like they are going to be able to get that third Guardian to play, which is super rough. But if I am able to Guzma up maybe, I don't know, this one, I guess, if we are able to knock out this Guardy with, like, all the energy on it, we can make this Guardy's super boost energy not worth anything. That Guardy's super boost energy is only good if my opponent has three Stage 2s in play. So I guess our... Our only route is to gun down this guy and hope uh, that my opponent like just 
brain farts and does nothing for the rest of the game. I think that's highly unlikely, but we at least gave it our best shot. Oh, there's Guzma. Okay. So who's going down this turn? That's, oh, no. Don't say it's Eevee Snorlax. <laughs> if the Eevee Snorlax goes down. Oh, my gosh. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Choice ban. Oh, no. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Choice ban. Oh, my opponent's got game, guys. Listen. We had a pretty good run with the Turbo Lax deck, okay? I think we even win that game if just a couple different things go our way. If that Ho-Oh was a Snorlax, we win. If, well, you know, I think I rip a Nest Ball off of that Jirachi earlier in the game, I think we win. But we missed that one crucial turn. My opponent was able to get, you know, kind of their feet underneath them and get huge energy on Guardian. That's, that's just how that matchup goes, I think. We're we're kind of just trading one-hit knockouts back and forth. So that is a, that is Turbo Lax. You saw it do what it did, all right? That's it. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's the worst deck I've ever seen, but it's definitely a riot to play and a lot of fun. This is my list if you're interested in trying it out. I'm not sure that the Ho-Oh is completely necessary, but it is an option that I think is good, and options are good to have uh, in decks. So I think it makes the deck more of a, uh, yeah, more have more options rather than just being straightforward. We're either doing Dump Truck Press or Mega Tom Friends. So I do like that as an option. The Turtonator, you know, are we ever going to Nitro Tank? Probably not, but it was a cute idea. I saw it in my opponent's deck when he beat me on PTCGO with a similar list the other day. So I decided to give it a try myself, and that's it. Turbo Lax. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Check out the Etsy store, Patreon stuff, and Full Grip Games for all your card singles in the description below, as well as my stream on Twitch. Please check that out if you haven't given my Twitch channel a follow already. I've been streaming a ton on Twitch lately. We got partner status. It's been an absolute blast. Shout out to everybody who's already checked out that channel. Please check it out. Twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim. Y'all rock. Have a great day. Peace.